That's right, you guessed it. Well, you read the title. I'm building an LGA 2066 test bench today. More specifically, a i7 9800X test bench today with this CPU, the i7 9800X. But uh, these don't look like the right parts. Oh yeah, it's over here. This is my, eh, I guess we'll just call it the LGA 2066 test bench. Well, soon to be. It used to be my gaming PC, but I replaced the uh, i7-9800X with a more consumer-grade 3900X for gaming and editing, which left me with this, like, really weird 8-core CPU. If you don't know, this is an 8-core, 16-thread Intel. I call it Extreme Edition, but it's more, I guess, X-Series it's called, whatever. That's beside the point. So... Intel i7-9800X, LGA2066, it's got support for quad channel memory, but I'm building this specifically, and as I'm talking I will try to get this stupid socket open, I'm building this specifically to have a RAM test bench, kind of, because, now I wasn't going to call this video making a RAM test bench, because that sounds dumb, what the heck, there we go. You should not build a computer like this. You shouldn't do it sideways, but I'm doing it sideways. That would sound dumb, but I'm building a test bench for RAM because I want to do a video about how, you know, how much RAM you need. So I have a 4, an 8, and a 16. I have basically a bunch of kits of RAM. Oh man, definitely not the right way of doing this. Let's try to get it tilted or something. Let's take over. This is 64 gigs of RAM. I appreciate sure I broke it in a video. So, this is going to be really hard. I shouldn't have taken it out. Oh, I scratched my new desk. Whatever. So I know it goes in, for some reason it goes in upside down. There we go. That made uncomfortably crunchy sounds. Where is what I need now? I need the cooler. We're just going to be using the Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition from Cooler Master. It's just, it works. Like, I've never had, I never really use air coolers, but this one had just worked, so I'm going to stick with it until it stops working. Like, I got this, oh, I need thermal paste. I need to learn how to build computers. Oh good, I still have some left after I threw it all in a broken computer. Again, thermal paste sideways is a bad time. And this is a big old chip. So let's just, Picasso. This stupid fan is getting in my way, there's nothing I can do about it. Wait, which way is right? If this survives, I'll be very happy. One screw, two screws, brain damage. Screws are in, let's place our fan back on. Just like that, RGB fan. Four gigs of DDR4. I wanna also put in this, you might remember this NVMe, this is like an 850 Evo basically. Uh, Samsung, this is a 512 gig NVMe SSD. This is from my old laptop that I have just shipped off at the time of recording. Well, no, actually I shipped it off yesterday. So, I ordered two-day shipping. It was like 80 bucks. I hope to have a video out on that soon. I love my style of video where I'm just looking away from you guys. Oh, scraping it on the desk. I'm lucky I haven't bricked all of my hardware. I don't know what I'm going to do when I, like, inevitably brick something I just can't replace. Though I do have a surprise. So, Wednesday, a very exciting piece of hardware that I ordered over three months ago from China is finally arriving. Hopefully. And I'm saying days as if, like, I know when this video is going up. There we go, put that there. This is like one of those hotter NVMe SSDs, so it definitely needs its own little thermal pad. Like, I literally downloaded a game on it. No, I think I launched Windows from it one time, and it was physically hot to pick up. Go. So we are gonna be using for this test bench, we're gonna be using a Vega 64. I thought about using one of these, but for, I don't really need this for any videos coming up. I've already done the Crossfire video and the only game that actually works. Um, I will probably need one of these, or at least two, uh, one or two, in a video. I couldn't get them to Crossfire. I tried filming that video, but I would definitely just like to have two of them available for any kind of videos. Or if I do like a sick like gaming build, I kind of want to make like two gaming PCs and put those in as like the powerful GPUs to test the CPUs. That's the point. So we're going with Vega 64 which we have unplugged because we were doing something stupid. Plug that in. We have four gigs of RAM in the PC. I'll be surprised if you can launch it. Let's, uh, let's turn it on and see if it works. So the thing I love about this monitor, let me sit down. 
I'm sorry, yeah, I know, you guys, people are like, oh, you're too tall for the desk, and too short. I'm very short, my desk is just much shorter. Now I'm too short. That's his point. So, what do we have going on here? I love this monitor because it, for some reason, you probably saw in the 4GP video, I could not get this camera to capture the monitor. Oh, here we go. Mega Mega Trans 9800X at 3.8 gigahertz. We're gonna fix that. Uh, total memory four gigs of DDR4 2133. Um, SATA SATA. Ooh. Um, this screen is just so good. At, like you guys can see what's happening on the screen, so I don't have to run like screen cap, even though you can't even run screen cap in the BIOS. Oh, let's turn on my mouse actually. Oh my God, the BIOS is so slow with the mouse. So we have a, we're turning on extreme tuning and we have um, so Samsung does recognize, but I want to launch from this because the SATA SSD has Windows on it. There we go. So we do have a Windows SATA, and I'm probably gonna install Windows and a bunch of while I'm here because that SSD I don't know if it's gonna stay in here or not, but I want to have a bunch of games on it to so have ultra fast storage with games on it already to test with. So let's uh, let's log on the system. So the plan for a video coming up soon is I was gonna do like this. I don't want to do a building the set hub and then doing the RAM test in one video. But the the video that's gonna happen is that I'm going to take um, that four gig stick. Um, I have an I have one eight gig stick. I have sixteen gig sticks, and I can get up to a maximum of ninety six gigs of RAM in here. But that's I'm not going. For, I'm not gonna go that high. I'm gonna go four eight sixteen in both dual and single channel and quad uh, actually I don't have four four gig sticks and then 64 because um, I want to test you know I know the answer we all know the answer it's 16 gigs but I want to make a full video uh, like a lot and with the screen caps and all that stuff screen caps will be great on here because we have that eight core CPU um, although I probably will install a 1660 Ti uh, to make sure there's no performance loss but we I want to show you guys <laughs> that uh, you know, how much RAM do you need? How much RAM do you need for actually doing stuff? And I think I actually have Premiere on here. I do. So I do want to open Steam and install. Yep, our Samsung NVMe. Oh, I hit that. Shouldn't, I knew I shouldn't have done that, and I did it. Samsung NVMe does come up as our E drive, and it's 475 gigs. Perfect. So we will install a bunch of games right now onto it. We're running our network from our Razer router, and that's besides the point. So, this video, again, like my most recent videos, absolutely pointless and stupid. I just thought I would show you guys me, just in case I broke something. I'm still going to upload it, but just in case I broke something, I wanted to be recording it. And um, this monitor, although, like I said, the saddest thing is that it will only run in 60 hertz, and that's it, because HDMI is Garbo. No, oh, I don't want this. HDMI, just not a fun time. So, uh, that's just not gonna work. So, 60 hertz, whatever. The screen is just so good at showing you guys so that I can do screen cap on here with like OBS or something. But I can also, you can see it like if I wanna do it like this, you can see actually what's happening on the screen. So, that's, that's the point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this video. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.